Today, we want to talk about how we can stay happy consistently, even though there's a lot going on, even though uh, we want to take care of others and we want to bring the best of us into the world. Because I can tell you that it is great to take care of others. It is great to share your happiness and to help them and support others in any way you can. But there's a backside to that if you don't take care of it. And I can tell you from my own experience that I always had a deep connection to the people around me. And I always I was really caring for when I was a young child. And so naturally, I was drawn to helping them in any way I could. And I would give my all to them and then just trying to light them up, to be there for them. And at the end, to be happy together with them, which amplified my own happiness. But what I realized is that over time, I felt exhausted. I felt like I gave too much and it led to being disconnected from my own self. And the more I went down that path, the more I felt kind of frustrated. And I don't know if you have an experience like that, but usually when the shift like that is happening, then also our thought patterns are changing. And all of a sudden your focus shifts from, oh, how could I help this person? Or how could I light them up? To, man, I gave so much to them, but how much did they give back to me? I was taking care of them so much, but how much did they take care of me? And I can tell you that that creates a downward spiral that you don't want to get trapped in. That's why today we really want to make sure that you can keep up that happiness, that positive mindset consistently. Because I can tell you when it happened to me, I it turned from being disconnected to myself, to being frustrated, to being depressed. And after a while I, was, I, got, I got angry, I got pissed off and I was like, you know what, I'm taking care of myself now. So I withdrew from people and I started to take care of myself, which felt good in one way, but then I felt disconnected from the others, which I didn't want to as well. I wanted to have the connection, I wanted to have both. But you see, when I went down that, 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 that loop from just being back and I just went back and forth from being taking care of myself, taking care of them, taking care of myself, taking care of them, that I, it became part of my identity. And I couldn't see another way. And so I felt helpless. I felt like ah, whatever I do is wrong. If I just take care of myself, it's too much. If I take care of them, I feel exhausted. I feel depleted. And it's, it was almost like there is no way for me to be happy. And that's a funny thing because at some point someone came into my life who really changed my perspective and really helped me to step out of myself. And look at the things from a different perspective. And all of a sudden the way was so clear to me that I can actually have both. And at the beginning I was like, whoa, what, but how does it fit together? And one way to illustrate it for you, as, um, and that really helped me, was, you know, when you go into a plane and the oxygen mask drop down, what do they always tell you to do? They are always telling you, help yourself first. Put the mask on yourself first, then you're helping others. And at that moment, it clicked for me. And I started to understand. And what I've realized is that if you take care of yourself, it's not selfish at all. It's filling you up. And when you fill yourself up and you're feeling good about yourself, you're feeling connected to yourself, your, your energy is rising, you're becoming more and more happy then you also have more to give to others. And this is then the point where the happiness gets really amplified. You, can, you, you take care of yourself first, you fill yourself up, and then you bring that energy into every way in life possible. And I can tell you this has been the biggest shift for, shift for me at all. And it became a new identity in which I love to be, I love to be that way. I love to feel good myself and to bring that feeling 
into other people. So I'm hoping that this is going to help you. And one way to do that is simply to put yourself first and understand that it is okay to do that. It doesn't mean that you only take care for yourself, like I did back then. It means that you, you have something for you. Best will be every day that really fills you up, that lights you up with happiness, with love, with joy, and brings the best of you out into the world. And in mo some cases, depending on you know how your job or your workplace or whatever is, and how demanding your life is, maybe you also have to set some boundaries in order to do that, so that you can allow yourself to have that time. Or maybe uh, you have to sacrifice a few minutes, half an hour, an hour from your sleep to do it in the morning before your life starting. But that always depends on your individual situation. So, my challenge for you for the next seven days is actually to take time for yourself. Best would be in the morning, but whenever it fits for you. Take time for yourself to fill yourself up, to nourish yourself, to become happy, to, to rise your energy, so that then you can bring the best of you out into the world. You can bring your happiness, share it with others, taking care of them, lighting them up, and amplify the happiness for everyone. So, I'm sending you lots of love, light, and appreciation. And I'm going to see you next week.